Okay, so let's do the arm rotation. Now, this is really cool stuff, and once you get the hang of doing this, it's really going to be child's play. So what we'll need to do is certain elements we need to convert into what's called a symbol. So we need to do that because every symbol, and I want you to write this down, take a note, carve it in your head. The, uh, Illustrator, I'm sorry, uh, Flash work the same way. So here's how it works. When you convert any object, it can be a symbol, and then the symbol has its own unique timeline. So let's understand something. I want these arms to animate independent of everything else, so I can't do it in this timeline. So that tells me that I'd want to have an independent timeline, which tells me I want to turn this into a symbol. The simplest way to do that is to either right click or control click, and we're going to say convert the symbol. We'll call it something very simple, like left hyphen robot, Roby arm. Okay, now what I need to do next is I don't want to create the animation on this timeline. So if I double click or control edit symbol, it puts me right into that symbol's timeline. Now, what is it that I want to do? Well, first of all, I want to rotate this, but where do I want to rotate from? Well, by default, just to give you, for instance, I'm going to turn the animation off so there's no animation properties. If I come to here in my property and rotate, it's going to rotate it from the center. Well, that's not what I want to do. I want to rotate it from a certain point. So what I can do before I get started, and I don't want to have my keyframes on because if my keyframes are on, that's going to create an animation. I don't want to do that. I simply want to set the origin point of my animation. So if I click right here, I'm going to go right there, and then I'm going to go to the Y and go right there. So that's going to be basically the pivot, the armpit. That's where it's going to rotate from. So watch this. If I click here, now it's going to rotate from that exact point. Now, to share with you, I'm not going to do the exact verbatim animation that the original one did. This is the concept. This is the understanding behind doing. That's what we need to pay attention to. But if you look at the original one, it's very slow moving, and we're going to do the same thing here. So let's go to P for pin, and let's pin to the future. So this is what I want to see when I start, but when I end, I want to see something else. So I'm going to basically go to about 4.5 seconds. And at 4.5 seconds, I simply want to take this and rotate this up to about there. Now, I just did a 21 degree rotation. Okay. So now what I could do is pin to the future again. So go another 4.5 or 9 seconds. So let's go 9 point. Then I want to basically bring that back. Now, there is something called inverse keyframes, but you can't do it to the same keyframe by copying and pasting. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go back to 21 degrees, or actually back to zero. So therefore, if I play through this P for pin, turn this all off. Actually, actually I got ahead of myself. I want to, I want to do this animation first, then move my playback back here. Hit the P for pin again, because otherwise it's not going to execute the full animation. So my apologies on that. I got ahead of myself. I meant to do this these separate animation. So I click right here, and I make that 9 seconds, which is 2.5, which is 4.5 times 2. Uh, I'm sorry, plus 4.5, 4.5, 4.5 is 9. For those of you that slept through fourth grade math class. So now I need to take this and go back. So it's going to go from from... 21 to 0, and then from 0 back to 21. So I type in 21 again, and there's my animation. You know, sometimes I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, the second part of the animation, I'm not pinning here, so let's just do this from scratch. I'm just moving my playback head. I, I have the one pin in place, so, so just ignore what I just did a second. My, my apologies. Maybe I should start this whole video over. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. I'm four minutes into it. So I think you'll get the drift here. So with my playback head here, and again, my animation keyframe is still set up. So now I can just type in 21 as in 21 degrees. And again, I just happen to move it 21 degrees. and It doesn't have to be exactly. So what's going to happen, it's going to play. It's going to come down, and it's going to go back up again. Now, what I need to have happen, which is really important, is I need to create an action script or a JavaScript in, some, in Adobe Edge. If I was in Flash, I created action script. So this is a really simple technique here. I simply click right here, and I'm going to put the word symbol, S-Y-M dot, very simple, play. And what I want to do is play inside of parentheses, zero, play to zero, right parentheses, and 
semicolon to close it out. So what that's going to do is once the animation completes to here, it's going to go back and play the whole thing again. So let's save the changes. Now keep in mind we're inside of this timeline. We're in the timeline of the symbol. We're going to do the same thing with for the right arm as well. Here we hit, did I actually call that? Did I call that? Yes, I did call it left arm. For some reason, I thought I called it right arm by mistake. So if I click back here and I save the changes, command return, control return for Windows. So now you'll see that the animation plays slowly and then it plays back. Now, if you want that to go a little bit faster, so if you look at the original here, it's, it's sort of close. Now, depending on the type of easing that you want to use for that, you can adjust that as well. Now, if you don't want this going up into the bubble, well, then these just, just don't have it go as high. So let's do the same thing for the right arm, and this time we'll get it right. <laughs> My apologies here. Control key, so convert the symbol, and of course we'll call this right arm robo. And once again, you need to make sure you're inside of that symbol's timeline. So either control click, right click, Windows, control click, Macintosh, edit the symbol. And once again, what we need to do here, there's, I want to make sure my keyframes are turned off. I don't want to create any kind of animation by mistake. So I need to position this so it's right there. So I'm going to scroll this up to there and then scroll this up. So there, and maybe move that over. Actually, I want to pivot from right there and then just in just a smidge, right about there. So that's a perfect pivot point. So I can actually do the same thing we just did. So P for pin, we're going to go ahead 4.5 set. Now, if you actually, let's not do that. Let's make the right arm just go a little bit faster. So let's make this uh, three seconds in. Okay, and I'm going to move this at, uh, let's move this at 33 degrees. Okay, which is a little bit drastic. Hey, it's uh, artistic liberties. I'm going to hit P for pin to turn it off. Then I'm going to go three seconds ahead. So I'll go out to six seconds. And of course, at that six seconds, because my animation is still in effect, uh, I'm going to, I can use the same thing here at 33 degrees and I'm going to go right back to where I started. Once again, I click right here. I type in SYM dot play. It's the simplest thing in the world. Open parenthesis. Zero, I'm going back to frame zero, closing parentheses, and semicolon is how I terminate a line of JavaScript. Make a change, save a change. So now if I go back to the stage and play, I'm just going to scroll up here for a second. So now I have my animation in place. Now notice again the right arm is moving a little bit differently than the left arm, and that's kind of what we want. We just want to create the, you know, just a little bit of excitement here. Command return. And that's not looking bad. Okay. In fact, maybe I like it better than this one. This one's moving a little bit slower. In fact, this has the left arm moving and the right arm's barely moving, but I, I took artistic liberties. But it's the understanding behind doing it. It's really that type of effect. So what I want you to take away from this particular video you just watched, if you want animation to continue to play, even though your timeline has stopped, it has to be in a symbol, and you have to have the sim, S-Y-M, dot play in whatever frame you want to play to. So in the next video, we'll animate the robot up out of the parallax. Stay tuned.